China is taking over Thailand with epic $68 billion high-speed railway project. This project is expected to cost around $68 billion, making it one of the most expensive infrastructure projects in Thailand's history. In today's episode, we will be taking a closer look at one of China's largest infrastructure projects in the Southeast Asian region. In 2014, Thailand's military government signed a deal with China to build a high-speed railway between Bangkok and the northeastern city of Nakhon Ratchasima, covering a distance of 253 kilometers. The project is part of China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to build infrastructure and enhance connectivity between Asia, Europe, and Africa. The first phase of the project began in 2017, and construction has been ongoing since then. The high-speed railway is designed to run at a top speed of 250 km per hour, making it possible to travel between Bangkok and Nakhon Ratchasima in just 90 minutes. The project is expected to boost economic growth and improve transportation in the region. One of the significant advantages of the high-speed railway is that it will help reduce traffic congestion on the roads, which is a significant problem in Thailand. The railway will also provide a cheaper and more efficient mode of transportation for people traveling between Bangkok and Nakhon Ratchasima. The project has not been without controversy, however. One of the main concerns has been the financing of the project, with critics arguing that Thailand is taking on too much debt to fund the railway. The Thai government has defended the project, saying that it will be a significant boost to the economy and will create thousands of jobs. Another concern has been the environmental impact of the project, particularly on the forested areas along the railway route. There are fears that the construction of the railway could result in deforestation, which could have long-term effects on the environment. Despite these concerns, construction on the railway is continuing, and the project is expected to be completed in 2023. Once completed, the high-speed railway is expected to be a game-changer for transportation in Thailand providing a faster, more efficient, and more comfortable mode of transportation for passengers. One of the key features of a high-speed railway is that it will be integrated with Thailand's existing transportation infrastructure, including the MRT and BTS systems in Bangkok. This integration will make it easier for passengers to travel to and from the railway stations, improving connectivity and accessibility in the region. The high-speed railway is also expected to boost trade and investment between Thailand and China, as it will make it easier for businesses to transport goods and products between the two countries. China is already Thailand's largest trading partner, and the high-speed railway is expected to further strengthen economic ties between the two nations. In addition to the economic benefits, the high-speed railway is expected to have a positive impact on tourism in Thailand. The railway will make it easier for tourists to travel to Nakhon Ratchasima, which is home to popular tourist destinations such as Khao Yai National Park, Khmer Temple of Phi Mai. Overall, the high-speed railway project in Thailand is a significant infrastructure project that has the potential to transform transportation, trade, and tourism in the region. The project is also a testament to China's growing influence in Southeast Asia and its commitment to building infrastructure that enhances connectivity and promotes economic development. However, the success of the project will depend on how well it is managed and maintained in the long term. It is essential that the railway is designed and built to the highest standards to ensure that it is safe, reliable, and efficient. The high-speed railway project in Thailand is part of China's larger Belt and Road Initiative (BRI) a massive infrastructure development plan that aims to connect Asia with Europe and Africa through a network of ports, roads, railways, and other infrastructure projects. China's involvement in the railway project has been controversial, with critics raising concerns about the high costs, potential environmental impact, and the project's alignment with China's strategic interests. In addition, some have questioned the transparency of the bidding process and the involvement of Chinese firms in the construction of the railway. Despite the criticisms, the project has been moving forward and construction is well underway. The railway is expected to reduce travel time between Bangkok and the northeastern city of Nakhon Ratchasima from 5 hours to just over 2 hours. 
In addition, it is expected to boost trade and economic ties between China and Thailand and other Southeast Asian countries. The railway is just one example of China's expanding influence in the region, which has raised concerns among some countries about China's intentions and its impact on regional security. Nonetheless, China has continued to make significant investments in the region, and its influence is likely to continue to grow in the years ahead. It will be interesting to see how the railway project progresses and what kind of impact it will have on Thailand and the wider region. As with any major infrastructure project, there are likely to be both benefits and challenges, and it will be important to carefully monitor its progress and ensure that the project is being implemented in a responsible and sustainable manner. China's high-speed railway project in Thailand is a significant development for the region, with far-reaching implications for the countries involved, the region, and even the global economy. One of the main reasons why China is investing in high-speed railway in Thailand is to boost trade and connectivity in the region. The railway is part of China's Belt and Road Initiative BRI, a massive infrastructure development project aimed at connecting Asia with Europe and Africa. The BRI is seen as a way to boost global trade and strengthen economic ties between China and other countries. The railway project will help Thailand modernize its transportation infrastructure, which is critical for economic growth. The project will create jobs, improve logistics, and increase the efficiency of transportation in the country. It will also help reduce the country's dependence on road transportation, which is slower and more expensive than rail. The high-speed railway project will run from Bangkok to the northeastern province of Nakhon Ratchasima, covering a distance of 253 kilometers. It will have a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour, reducing the travel time from 4 hours by car to just 90 minutes by train. The railway is expected to carry up to 400,000 passengers per day, greatly reducing traffic congestion in the region. The project has not been without controversy, however. There have been concerns about the cost of the project, which is estimated at $68 billion, and the potential for corruption. There are also environmental concerns, as the railway will pass through some protected areas, which could impact wildlife and natural habitats. Another issue is that the project has faced delays due to disputes over the financing and construction of the railway. The Thai government initially hoped to have the railway completed by 2021, but construction has been delayed until 2023, and it may take longer than that to complete. Despite these concerns, the high-speed railway project in Thailand is an important development that has the potential to bring significant benefits to the country and the region. It is a testament to China's growing influence and economic power, as well as its commitment to investing in infrastructure projects that can improve connectivity and trade. For Thailand, the project is a significant step toward modernizing its transportation infrastructure, which is critical for the country's economic growth. The railway will create jobs and improve logistics, and it will also reduce traffic congestion and air pollution in the region. It will also increase the efficiency of transportation, which is vital for businesses that rely on fast and reliable delivery of goods. The railway project will also have implications for other countries in the region. It will improve connectivity between China and Southeast Asia, making it easier for businesses in the region to trade with China. It will also open up new markets for Thai businesses, as the railway will connect Thailand to Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. The railway project is also significant for the global economy. It is part of China's larger Belt and Road Initiative which has the potential to change the global economic landscape. The initiative aims to connect Asia with Europe and Africa through a vast network of infrastructure projects, including railways, ports, and highways. The initiative has the potential to increase global trade and promote economic growth in developing countries. In conclusion, China's high-speed railway project in Thailand is an important development that has the potential to bring significant benefits to the country, the region, and the global economy. While there are concerns about the cost and potential environmental impact of the project, the benefits of improved connectivity and trade are significant. The project is a testament to China's growing economic influence and its commitment to investing in infrastructure projects that can improve connectivity and promote economic growth. That's all. Thank you for watching. 
Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos.